Hi everybody, welcome back to Markers and Monsters Doctor Whoathon 2017. Today we're drawing an Ood. As David Tennant says, I love an Ood. The Ood first appeared in the New Who episode, The Impossible Planet, and its two-parter, its second uh, part is The Satan Pit. These were 2006 episodes featuring the 10th Doctor, famously played by David Tennant, one of the most popular Doctors, I might add, for good reason. Now, this two-parter with the Ood, where they first appear, is actually one of my favorite episodes of uh, New Who, or favorite stories as it's a two-parter of New Who. It starts when the Doctor and companion Rose end up on an asteroid uh, space station with humans on it. Um, the station is impossible because it is an orbit around a black hole, which should suck it in. Uh, even the Doctor is surprised by this as it defies the laws of physics greatly. Now, on this space station, there are a whole bunch of ood, these uh, tentacle-faced creatures here that hold these little glowing balls that uh, are attached to their, you know, face tentacles. Um, the ood are a servant race, it's explained. They, they live only to uh, serve people. That's, that's what they love doing. So uh, they're invaluable on these space missions because they don't need, like... Uh, really like housing or anything just like a place you know a little place to sleep they don't need compensation they just love being servants and uh, it's all working out really good except the ood are all very very psychic and this is bad when the uh strange emanations coming out of this impossible asteroid orbiting the black hole cause them to begin going berserk and killing people what is it what's what's causing this to happen is it the devil it might be. I don't know. You guys are going to have to watch the episode and find out. Now, the Ood were really cool in that episode. They were uh, both allies and bad guys when they were possessed, which is pretty neat. Uh, in later episodes, you learn a lot more about the Ood, and they start popping up here and there in uh, New Who. I always thought they had a really great design. Again, completely... Um, real makeup and like monster suits and stuff like that so the ood faces here they're, they're basically masks i mean the guys just kind of wear like a a black uh just i don't know a speed suit or some kind of like track suit just a simple like work outfit no big deal but the uh so it's not like a full body prosthesis but the uh, masks are incredible i think they look absolutely terrific now, spoiler alert for some later episodes, you find out that the ball things that the Ood is holding, it's like this glowing ball, um, that is actually the creature's brain encased in this uh, orb. I guess the Ood are so humble and they have no, you know, predators or anything like that and they're completely trusting, so they were able to develop so their brains are on the outside of their bodies and these little... Uh, orb things they encase them in so yeah that's that's the thing's little brain there and kind of talks through it and whatnot so pretty cool stuff like i said before uh, i love the practical special effects i love the designs here and i just think the ood are a really neat little uh little race from doctor who they'll pop up every now and again too in the uh, backgrounds of episodes even if they're not even if it's not like an ood centric episode you'll see them pop up here and there which is really cool um, yeah, so just interesting storytelling and really cool monster designs. Again, something that I love about uh, Doctor Who. Now, these guys, like I said, are definitely New Who, and uh, New Who's been really good with the creativity. Um, it's unfortunate, but there's a lot of TV shows out there which can just be uh, I don't know, very bland or very humdrum or whatnot with their designs and monsters and stuff, and they they skew towards this very uh, generic look. And Doctor Who has has not done that, and that's one of the reasons I think the show has endured for so long is they got great uh, great monster designs and great artwork and stuff like that. And another thing I love too about uh, you know Doctor Who and its designs is that these Ood, as uh, kind of interesting as they look and like evil as they look potentially, uh, they're not. They're, they're you know, like I said, they're generally good guys. So even the good guys can have these really cool, monstrous designs. Now, a little bit about the drawing here. As you can see, I'm in the inking stage already. We didn't really talk about the coloring. But <laughs> once again, uh, the tentacles in the face. Man, I, I will never learn my lesson. I, I love uh, face tentacles like Cthulhu and stuff like that. I think they're cool as heck. But, man, they could be a pain in the butt to, to draw them all tangled there. 
Uh, the only upside is I think I'm getting better and faster at doing it, so that's that is definitely a plus. But yeah, I, I do the. I think there's such cool designs I get into. I'm like, oh god, tentacles. Why? Why did I? Why did I have to do this? But uh, it's all good. I guess the thing when uh, when doing the tentacles for me, any advice I can give is think of them as like a big spongy mass uh, first, and then start picking out like the individual tentacles and where they lie. And uh, always make sure you get a little bit of overlap there. Uh, don't have them all just going straight down. Have them like rolling over one another and, uh, you know, little pockets here and there where you can see the background color through and whatnot. And I'm just kind of filling in that area as black to give the impression that there's, you know, more tentacles underneath of there. But, yeah, don't just do just a bunch of them kind of straight down. That's uh, a little bit boring. Now, as you'll see, there's some edges there that are kind of left white. Um... And that's uh, just areas, I, you know, you can't plan for everything. But the good thing with the markers and the good thing with this Oud shirt, which is just a big, like, blank, purplish kind of look, is I'm going to go in later with more marker and just kind of fill in those gaps a little bit. Make it look really nice. Just adding some uh, texture here on the face. They've got this nice, like, weird kind of texture looking thing. A little bit of shadowing here and there just to give some impression. Can't forget like little dots and marks and stuff like that, just to give it some texture. Like it's a, you know, it, it's a modeled skin. It's not completely smooth, and it's starting to look good. Let's fill in those gaps, like we said. Make the shirt just a little bit darker here. Pretty neat. And then uh, I'm gonna get uh, some like white highlights and little fix areas. We'll sign it up at the bottom, and let's take a look at the scan. Very cool. Very cool. Love a good oud. Um, this was a blast to do as always. I've been having a ton of fun with these Doctor Who drawings. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching them. Uh, if you're Doctor Who fans like me, then that's exciting. But I really hope that with some of these, I could at least intrigue some people, maybe giving the show a try. Uh, like I said, the premiere date uh, is this upcoming Saturday, April 15th at 9 p.m. on BBC America. Well, that's it for this time, guys. We'll see you on the next episode of Markers and Monsters. Hey.